The Social Democratic Party in Lagos collapses structure as party chairman leads state ESCO to join the PDP. And Tinubu Obi Atiku make vague promises on security even as the February polls draw near. This is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anaka. Leadership and members of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in Lagos State earlier collapsed the party structure into the People's Democratic Party, PDP, ahead of 2023 general election. The state chairman of the party, Ms. Dabiro Lua Adeinka, who led the party members uh, and the state working committee and other leaders of the party to defect to the PDP, revealed that the leadership qualities of the governorship candidate of the PDP, Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adedirong Jandor, his running mate, Olufunke Akindele, and the party's House of Representatives candidate in Etiosa Federal Constituency, Honorable Olubankoli Wellington, also known as Banky W, attracted um, them to the PDP as the only credible alternative uh, to the inept ruling APC. And while receiving the delegation at the campaign office, Dr. Adedinro commended the defectors for taking a wise decision in the right time in the collective interest of the good people of Lagos State who have suffered untold hardship under the APC-led government. Well, joining us live to discuss this is Kunle Usman. He is the Lagos State governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party. It's so good to have you join us, sir. Mary Ann, good evening. And Happy New Year's in order. I haven't seen you this year, have I? Same to you. Great. Um, I, I'm, I was, I'm hoping that, um, I was hoping actually that we would have been meeting on a better circumstance, but uh, unfortunately today we're talking about people leaving your party. Um, she, she has been quoted to say that um, she was looking for a more formidable party that would be able to stand against the ruling APC. Does that in any way mean that the SDP is not formid formidable? <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. So far, what we have is nothing but media drama. How's and the that? usual overplaying of issues. I listened to her this morning, and what I learned from the broadcast was she went to the party with 13 other people. 13. So when you talk about an executive in Lagos State that has 62 members, 62, and there are 13 people that accompanied her, I do not believe that there is any issue but just to ignore the irritation. There was no leader anywhere in the SDP family Lagos State. And I, I want to be contradicted. That was part of this particular drama that just took place. What happened, Dabira Alua and a gentleman whom I think I could only recognize only one man there. I think his name is Mafuya. They are always together. Both of them went with some other people that none of us have so far recognized. There was nobody, no deputy governor, no state, no local government, nobody. So I think people went to SDP. So truly speaking, I congratulate them. But for me, I did not lose a wink of sleep over this issue because it, was, it had been there. From what I also listened to, she has been trying to determine her political fortune in the last two, three months. And our activities within the party actually justifies this move. So there is no surprise. Me, I'm not surprised. Nobody is surprised in the Lagos State SDP family. But I congratulate her. She has acted in accordance with her constitutional right as copiously stated in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which gives every Nigerian the right of association. So if she believes she wants to associate with Funke Akindele and Jando, that's fine by me. It mm. will, a new chairman will be announced in the so next few hours. So you're telling me that you overnight you lose a leadership of the party and according to you, few people that you do not recognize. Marianne, to the PDP, you and see, you do not lose a wink of sleep. 30-something days to the elections. Are you really Marianne, serious about this? You, are, you keep talking about leadership. The word leadership is a compound word, and is a bit of a complex that talks about a conglomeration of people. So you don't have one person plus one, 
and 13 other inconsequential people move to another party and you keep talking about leadership. Get this straightened out. But she was the chairman of excuse your party, me, so how inconsequential me, is me. that? Even if the, if the father of a house passes on over the night, the family moves on. In her own case, she has joined another party. It's one person. And I've just told you that we have always had the fear within the SDP that this was going to happen. Where she is now was not where we thought she would be. The assumption was she would have gone to another party. And I remember, we have, we have a young man, our, she's young, and listening to her, she said, the attraction in PDP was youth. Youth, right? Mm -hmm. That is the youthful age of Funke and Jando. That was clear. And we were, the question now is, our old presidential candidate, Prince Adewale Adebayo, is 50 years old. The presidential candidate of the PDP is almost 80 years old. So there's a contradiction in this connection. We cannot lose sleep over this. We are a family. The SDP was formed in 1993. It was the party that won the Abiola election. It's the oldest political party in this country today that is contesting this gubernatorial, contesting the elections. So what's, well, there's no cause for alarm, Iran. We cannot be alarmed because what we have, we, PDP, we congratulate them. We are glad that they are there. We are going to the polls. PDP will be there. APC will be there. Youth Party will be there. All of us, we test our, our, our strength at the polls. Mary Ann, election is not about winning at all costs. Anybody who goes into the, to an election with the mentality that I must win is a desperate person. We'll participate in this election. I'm going to be at a co club tomorrow. I'm also going to be in different places between now and we are going to start the open campaign. We are going to preach the message of hope. Oh, ours is not a turn by turn mentality. Our own is not a question of it is me now that will be. You know, we want people to listen. We know where we are in this country today. We know the price of oil. I bought petrol today in the black market. I knew how much I paid. We can't go anywhere. The cost of ticket is astronomical. Going to Abuja and back or anywhere in the world. So if you like, as a citizen of Nigeria that is holding your PVC, we believe that you are going to listen and you are going to take a dispassionate determination on which party you prefer. And we feel that we have a program to improve the state. We have a program to make life better for the people. Okay. So if somebody feels that she alone and two, 13 other people they are happy with the PDP. I wish I know. She's a nice person. Okay. We had a good relationship. Let's go to some of the things you said before we go back to what she said in the interview she granted and her reasons for moving to the PDP. You, you talked about the fact that she's always been, you know, um, tilting towards political fortune. What do you mean by that uh, when you say, me, I said, political Coach, fortune? Coach Verbati, I'm not even me. She said in the last two to three months, I also heard it. She's been trying to determine where a political fortune will be. Fortune is in quotes. It doesn't mean money. It could mean your prosperity. I could be with her. I could be in a certain school, and I felt that I'm better off in other school. I will change. I could also be in a faculty in a school, and I believe I should be in another faculty. Then I will change. It's still within her rights. Mm. So if she sat down with these few followers of ours, or admirers as they were, and they decide we are going to be up here in another party. Nobody can stop her. There's no need for any form of moral suasion, no need for persuasion, because she said she had been ruminating. Do you it, believe that money is exchanged hands? Do you believe that she was coerced one way or the other, or that this, something was dangled in front for me, of her for I don't her to make, join? I don't the, make hypothetical assumptions. It's not in my character. Well, I'm asking you a direct yeah, question. What word, do you the, think yeah. money exchanged hands for her to move with... The 16 no, or the 15 money, people the she money, You see, you cannot... When I say I don't answer hypothetical questions, I'm saying it with all sense of responsibility. Okay. Because, you see, if you and I sat in this room, or in another room and we had a transaction, there are only two people that will be party to that transaction. If it's you or myself, there will be no third party. So there is no way I can answer this question. Whether money exchange hands, whether money is not exchange yet, is completely inconsequential. This is my point. If it was money, but I know her, she's a lady. 
We had a good relationship. Dabira and I would call, we talk, we plan. I would miss her. But to say whether or not she got money from somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> and truly speaking, it's not my business. She talks about the fact that the SDP was a learning ground for her. It was a learning phase for her. It was building her up. So it seemed that she had graduated from your party to higher grounds. When you talk about higher grounds, you are looking at it from the perspective of one, two, three, four, five, six. There is no formula that has been devised in this country and at this election to make this empirical arrangement. And when we go to the polls, it's the symbol of the party that will be there. It's not going to be the symbol of Prince Adewale or Bola Ametinumbu or Atiku Abubaka or Peter Obi. Neither will it be the photograph of Jando, Chief Kule Uthman, and any other person. We, it's a party-driven matter. So for me, what she said was that she's from the Ensas family, mm -hmm. she's young, and she joined the SDP, and now she's attracted by people like her who are in the Ensas, which was Banky W. She mentioned a few names. Me, I also played my role in the Ensas movement when it was there. When it became imperative to discuss the white paper on Ensas, I was the one who dealt decisively with the issue. I was also part of the people that stopped the toll, gate, toll collection in Lekki, Admiralty toll gate, and also the Osborne Ikoi, and me. I think I have a track record. And I believe that if you take me and Jando 101, he was in government, the same government as myself. And I was a commissioner in government when he was just in the press corps. Let's talk about what this means for the um, SDP going forward. Um, whether we like it or not, the party has lost some group of people. Whether you agree what that these people... Group? What does group mean? Well, I mean, she, she moved to the PDP, 15, Anne, 15 people, people. 15 people. I thought when we had defection in this country, we had somebody moved with 1,000 people, somebody moved with 5,000 people, and you see a crowd. You see the governor receiving a mass of people, maybe in a stadium or somewhere. You will see everybody, they are receiving this, whether it's rent, but you see people there. But 13 people walked into a room and you say group, you talk about crap. Can we discuss something? But you know, else? you started by saying that you have an executive of about 60 something. Yes. And if a certain percentage, which is 15, leaves that 60 something, you don't believe that that's enough to. No, I didn't say 15 people. I didn't say 15 members of the executive. What we saw, we could only recognize her and when a gentleman, they call my two that were in the executive. The remaining 13, we don't know. So I didn't tell you 15 members of the ESCO. No, I said two. Two. Because I've looked at the tape, I've replayed it several times. And I could only see two. But maybe she should supply the list of the remaining 13. You should give me a guide. Whether they are 15, whether they are 13, whether they are 20, is inconsequential. We have a party structure. We are and working. If that, and if two, whether, whether it's two or one person that left the structure, where do you start from to rebuild? Because, of course, this person was in the leadership. It has, that person has to be replaced. She has a duty that she was playing Where within the party. So there's an acting chairman that was determined by the national today. It will act for maybe 48 or 72 hours. On or by Friday or Monday next week, we are going to give to the world an executive and a chairman, and they will be able to make a balance. Whether or not we have moved forward or we are going in the... Do you, worry that, do you worry that more of this might come within the party? Do you see more people leaving the party? Because, again, you said you had been seeing what movements. See? You had perceived that this was going to happen. Are there other perceptions no, within the I party? No, I didn't tell you that. You, Maybe, said, you, you have said, a way of but that's dramatizing sentences. I didn't say that. I said in respect of her alone. I wasn't using a compound word. I was using singular. I said in respect of her. I didn't say people. The word people is plural. It was completely singular. Yeah, but Going I'm asking forward, a question. Uh, would, would, well, are you seeing su such movements in other members within no, the party? Are you worried that no, this might happen in the future? Do, I am not seeing that. It will not happen in the future, inshallah. It will not happen. What we are going to witness is going to be other people who believe in our ideology, young people, who were in the university yesterday. I was represented by one of the House of Assembly members. She received the rousing ovation. I'm going to be in other places. We are going to start our rally. We believe that as we move in the nooks and crannies of this state, 
we are going to win people over. And we are also looking at other parties, a collaboration between us and some other parties that have the same concept as ours. The only two parties we foreclose, they are the ones that we believe that they got us into this depth of mess that we have found ourselves in this country. We don't have any, we will not have a relationship with them. When don't you say, when you say a relationship, yes. are you looking at a collaboration or a coalition? Is there going to be a collapse of party structure the, into another? What exactly there are two do you words mean here? Used. So let us try and deal with those two words. The words are collaboration and cooperation. Or we talk, the other one is major. Collaboration could be we work together. One is a step before you achieve the other. So one is the means to an end. So we need to first of all discuss and have a working understanding before we get to the next one. So we're at this stage one. When we get to stage two, I'll give you the privilege of you being the first person that I will tell. Does this mean that's huh? in, it, when somewhere I say on you, the radar? When I say you, it's going to be everywhere. But I will just place a call to you and say, Mary Ann, you see, we're there. But we are poised to win this election and we are not. We are and when not you say we, does it mean the Social SDP Democratic Party. merging with somebody else to win the election, or is it the another SDP. party collapsing the into Social the SDP? Social Democratic Party, Lagos State, is poised and determined, and will do all that is constitutional, all that is right. We are not going to do what they do. We will do everything that is right to win this election, and we are hoping. What is it that, that they do? Accordance. What is it that you think they do that is not right, that you term as I want to what they do? I, I want to believe that you have been part of the um, political landscape in this country for quite a little while. The election is, the elections are always heavily monetized. There is always ballot stuffing, and there are always so many other anky panky that politicians who have remained in power the last two decades have perfected over time. <clears throat> but we thank this administration, His Excellency Muhammad Ubari, for ensuring that these beavers has come to stay. The beavers is something that took about 10 years for INEC to perfect. I have listened to the INEC commissioners. I've listened to the chairman of INEC. And I, my party, Social Democratic Party, will believe in the functionality of these beavers, that the votes this time around will count. And when those votes count, the sincerity of those people that will vote will have a massive return of the social democratic candidates in the national and state government elections in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hmm. What, are, what are the chances? Uh, I, I can almost predict what your response is going to be. But what are the chances of the SDP, not just at the national level? Uh, because when we count the front runners and the people who somewhat will be polled as the top guys. The SDP is, does not make, make the top five. But let's bring it to Lagos stage. You have no, the no, APC. Let, let's deal with the first one. Or we, I take the no, no, I'm just going to add together. But okay. let's bring it first to Lagos stage. You have the APC who's been the ruling party over time. A PDP who's been the opposition over time. And now we have the SDP. We have other parties. We now see the, S, the ADC, the PRP, all of them coming out uh, for this race, which is now not making it just a two-horse race for Lagos State. But what are the chances of the SDP being that? Many people have touted, some pundits have always said that the SDP uh, only exists to do the bidding of a certain PDP. I'd like for you to you know, respond to that. For me, for the Social Democratic Party, we are determined to contest and to win this election. Now, your categorization. There is no empirical determination, no statistics to position parties in this country. What we have are those that are media visible. If you go through the streets of Lagos State, for example, you will discover that the APC, they have spent a lot of resources defacing the entire walls of this state. Everywhere you find yourself, they are pasting their posters irrespective of the fact that in other countries, this is done in a more civilized way. So they have acted like people who do not have respect for people's sense of sight and seeing. We don't need to be confronted by that everywhere. Now you leave posters, you go to billboards, you find everywhere 
there are food billboards, there are food emilio cons billboards there. There is some Wolu and Zab billboard everywhere. Now, take it from the states. If the state government of Baba Gide Sonwolu had performed well, and they have scored themselves and in their hearts of hearts, they knew that they are delivered on their mandate. They don't need this. They don't need this because their work will speak for them. Now, because they are being challenged now, they know they did not perform well. I am telling you that. They have performed badly. Because this state has become one of the second worst cities to live in on earth. Toxic atmosphere, traffic gridlock, collapsing building every day, every time. You can't go in, you can't come out of a papa. You cannot move from one local government to the other. Commuting in this Lagos is complete standstill. We have been entertained by their beauty. We they say they are going to have a blue rail. Correct. But how many years did it take them to build this blue rail? Because the blue rail, as far as I understand it, I was in government of Lagos State. Started from Babu Nirai Fashola, His Excellency, who is now the Minister of Works and Housing. I came with somebody, 12 years, Baba Gide Sonwolu, three plus some months, 15 years. CMS to Koko Michael. And we need them to tell us how much have they spent on this project from the beginning to the end. It has become a state whereby the, the money is so much, and I think they just spend it. They wake up and they do whatever they want to live. Because every project in this city is always you do the, the end, and then you start from the beginning. They've gone to put a lucky seaport there now, which they have launched, right? Yesterday or today, the, the president came in. You have all sorts of conglomeration of heavy-duty businesses there, but there are no roads. So we complain there is no bridge. Fort Maryland Bridge now, they will, they have just signed some documents. How many years will it take them? So it's going to be necessary for people like us who live in that access to go and relocate to somewhere because the government has failed us as a people. Uh, that's just about the sitting government. Now I ask the question and I ask it again. Yes. How formidable is the SDP against all of these other parties? Again, the APC, yes, is the sitting government. And I know the case that you're making, that of course you think there was that no they've lost it. Uh, but, now, but now you do have, that's why I started by saying that you have not just the APC, but you have the PDP, you have the ADC, you have the PRP, you have several, you have the NRM. These are all the people that you're going to be, uh, you know, um, standing up against. How formidable is the SDP in Mary the state? I, Being that, again, Mary there's I, been a little shake-up within your party. The interesting aspect of it is this a S APC you're talking about. APC is a conglomeration of political parties. APC, they used to be ACN. In that APC, you have APGA, you have CPC, you have ACN and some other parties that had a working relationship to form, and then they formed APC. So why this... APC, APC thing. Now, in the wisdom of INEC, they have registered a certain number of political parties. And one of these political parties is this APC. There is, you have PDP, you have so many people to contest the election. Some people will have the finance, you understand, to spend and to disturb and to distort the media information. And I tell you, nobody has produced any information to do any rating. What we are being treated to by these two political parties, the first one, the media man here will abuse this man and accuse him of stealing, of robbery, of crime, and all so many things. This other person's spokesman will reply, and he will discover that they are camouflage. The man who was abusing this man here used to be in this political party. The one who's also abusing so is just a group of people that have not told us how they are going to get us out of this economic gulag. They have not told us how our lives will be better. There is well, no manifesto. Well, I'm asking you. How we are going to get it. Do you think you can win Yes, this I election. think so, Mary Ann. And how do you now, think I'll tell you why. First of all, we are in a cerebral and intellectual campaign this time around. It's not, it's not turn by turn. The campaign for the 2023 election is cerebral. And I can vouch for my presidential Candidate, Prince Ade Wale Adebayo, he was at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs yesterday. 
and he performed excellently well. And why did he go there? Bola and Chinubi went to Charton House. Peter Abu Charton House. Even the INA Commissioner went to Charton House. Why are we going to London to propagate the ideas of our nation? So we believe as a party that that's an aberration and it was nonsensical. And the better our own Charter Mouse is the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs. It was there yesterday. It performed massively well. And it's going to move from all the nooks and crannies of this federation. He has been doing it. And people are listening. Look, at the people who are voting this time around is a youth population. They're very educated. They're people who have, who have access to technology. They have smartphones. So they are not the people that will vote based on the facing of the streets, the world putting paper everywhere, and putting billboards. They are intellectuals. If I was a voter, I'm not going to say I'm voting for A or B. I will listen. I will decipher. I will look at it. Who's going to give me a better life? This country, they, they are, we have too many problems. And how did we get here? The, AP, the PDP, the APC, APC, PDP, they got us into this place. I believe we should not think outside the box and vote the Social Democratic Party as we preach the message of hope to Nigerians. We are the hope. It's in the interest of it will be good for us if we have a, we have a change of government. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you. Kunle Usman is the Lagos State Governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party. Uh, always a pleasure to have you in the yeah, studio. And, always and a good luck to come on here. all your campaigns. Thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a quick break. When we get back, we will be discussing public safety and security in Nigeria. How well are we doing in that regard? Stay with us. <laughs>